Hello, so this time we're going to talk a little bit about how events are actually working, how they are triggered, also how server side scripts can connect uh, to players, and we will create a little resource that's going to send a message from one player to another. So, for you to understand a little bit uh, better, I made a little diagram that basically shows clients, each and every single client, and a server. Imagine that's a server and that's each and every single client. So we're gonna make a little resource that's gonna have an event called send message to player and that is gonna pass these parameters to server <coughs> to server event that's called deliver message to player and then using player ID argument is gonna look for the player out of all of the players that are connected to server and send him the message by triggering this event. So basically that's how you um, connect or send data from one client to another so now in your resources folder uh, create new folder called um, message sender and like always make new uh, make new file called fx manifest and then we're gonna one one uh, and a server that little file. So open your FX manifest file, uh, set the FX version to the newest one, uh, the set server uh, script server that uh, script also game gt5 now you can open your client that little file in here we're gonna register uh, we're gonna register a new event called messages send message to player And in here we're gonna accept uh, two arguments, which is gonna be, which are gonna be uh, client ID and message. So our client ID is gonna be the ID of player we want to send a message to, and the message is just gonna be the text of the message basically. And in here we're gonna trigger a server event. Uh, let's call it message. Deliver message to player and pass uh, those arguments. Uh, we're gonna create this event a bit later on the server side, uh, but yeah, just do that for now. Then we're gonna register new event, or I might as well just do that. And we're gonna and we're gonna call this uh, show received message. So this event is just gonna uh, show the chat message to the player. So basically this uh, event is going to be triggered but we want to send a message, uh, it's going to trigger the server event and the server event is going to um, trigger this event for the one who receives uh, the message and shows it on his uh, chat. So now we're going to um, register new command, let's call it just DM. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need arguments for this. So let's create new uh, variable called client. I 
client ID. Um, and put arguments. Uh, number one to it. So basically, the command when written should look like this vm one hello my friend or wherever so it's gonna send the message to this player uh, the player whose id is one and then we're gonna create one more uh, variable called message that is gonna hold our string for the message and we're gonna say table com cat uh, args uh, we're gonna divide them by space and we're gonna start from two since the first argument is gonna be uh, client ID and now we're gonna trigger our event we just created <coughs> Just paste that in here, and we're gonna pass client ID and message. So basically, these two variables are gonna go into here. Some of the code is really not necessary in this uh, in this case, but it's just for you to basically understand more how the events are triggered and how they work. Now let's open server.lua file. Uh, register new event here. Uh, oops, I need server. Let's call in messages. And I'll paste that in there. Let's add one handler. Let's make it accept to uh, parameters which is going to be client ID and message. And now from this event, what we're going to do is we're going to trigger event, uh, client event in fact, uh, which is the one that shows the uh, message to player. And in fact, I don't really need this here because it's really not necessary. So what it does is when the player writes the command and as well as the arguments, this event is going to be triggered and it triggers the server event, which then triggers this client event, which then shows the message to uh, the player who receives the message. Why do we need to do it that way? Because none of the clients have a direct connection to each other. So every single data or everything that we want to pass to another player has to go, must go through server. So yeah, that's uh, basically why we need the server event. Also, as you can see, we're passing two arguments uh, to this event trigger but we only receiving one why are we doing that is because when you trigger in the client event from server side the first argument is always the id of the player for which you want to trigger the event and then and then after that you uh oh, i actually was supposed to put that and then and only then uh you pass the rest of the arguments if you remember last time, we used minus one, which is basically triggering the events for every single client. But this time we just want it for a specific one, uh, which is passed from the uh, command basically. So now yeah, you can start or restart your uh, message sender event, uh, sorry, your message sender resource. and. That's right, yum, my ID is 4, hello, how are you? 
so yeah basically I send the message to myself this time or you can send it to anyone else but since I'm forever alone I just send it to myself so it's gonna be this for this time if you want to see all the documentation all, all the uh, all the lesson written you can just follow the link down below and I'll see you next time